This is Free Energine coming to you live on HHO Experiment. What I have here is a 11 plate electrolyzer set up as positive negative 11 plates connected to a bridge rectifier 50 amp and in return that is connected to my variac then we have four type Meyer cell type electrolyzers I had to break them apart. I had them set together like this, but I had to clean them, so I, 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 I took them apart. Stainless steel. I uh, made these at work. Scrap stainless. See, I uh, I welded screws so I can attach my uh, wire connections. And it is also hooked up to the second bridge rectifier, 25 amp. Next, I have the four same type of tubes, like a Meyer style. And this is connected to a variable pulse PWM, which is made off of um, a Dave Lawton schematic. Very nice PWM. I have here my radio on AM around six, no six fifty-five kilohertz. Attached is my battery. Battery, actually, I have my little jumpers here that are connected to my fan. Keep my heat sink cool to my bridge rectifier. Here's my um, clamp on amp meter. Well, what I'm going to do now is fill up each one of these containers out of my sink, sink water, and give a reading on temperature for each one and amp readings. And I want you to notice what tint of the water after a period of time, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, each one will give. This one I'm really impressed with with the PWM. It makes very little brown, uh, brown scum, but it does turn the water pinkish, purplish pinkish, over a period of time. You will soon, you will soon see. This is uh, these two are going to be run off straight DC. This one's gonna be run off a battery with PWM. Alright. Gonna go fill this up full of water. And we'll be back. Alright, I'm back. This is regular well water no elect no electrolyte just well water out of my faucet I will 
fill each container up with this well water. All right, I'm back. Got each container filled with well water. It probably has certain minerals in it since it's coming straight from the ground without any filtering process. But uh, at least I don't have to use any type of baking soda or any type of electrolyzer. Even uh, deionized water or um, filtered water, it won't produce in the beginning, but it will over a period of time of running your electrolyzer. Okay, I don't know if you can see the numbers on my little temp infrared temperature gauge, but I'll try to show you anyway. All right, 69 and a half degrees. Each one should be about around the same temperature, 70. Also, the material of the the container also has maybe has something to do with the temperature varying. 70. I wonder where this one's at. So you just like the rest of them. Uh, 69 and a half maybe because it's a thinner material but anyway we're gonna go ahead and crank this up what you will hear is the frequency this is just AM noise coming off the radio what you're going to hear is when I turn this PWM, PWM on, it will, it will start pulsing and gating. And you will hear it through this radio, through AEM setting. And this is going to be pulsating this cell here. Alright, on button. Also, I wait, before I do that, I, I marked where a real good setting was with uh, Sharpie to run this electrolyzer all right turning it on notice the sound of the AM radio let's turn it off and turn it back on so you can see the gas production also I'll show you the amperage it's pulling Turning it on. Pretty good gas production. Pulsating. Very volatile gas, also. A lot more combustible than the straight DC, which I'll prove this to you in a little bit. We're running at uh, because it's gating and pulsating. The the amps vary. Say average about one point one and a half amps. It's like one point two to all the way to one point seven max. I'm going to let this run for about an hour and show you the color tint changes. Also, to start producing more gas with the same amperage as it runs. Like uh, Hurleyman agrees on water memory with his experiments. Alright, now these two are going to be ran off Variac, 
rectified into the DC. I'm turning this on. Power's on. And we're going to show the production as I turn the Variac higher.